How's it going guys? You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host Kyle Brotherson and today we're pitting the YZ250FX against the KTM 250XCF on the Razorback Trail. Ever since I picked up these two bikes, I've been looking forward to coming out, coming out here and pitting these two things, these two bikes against the timer, just me and the mountain and the clock to see which one does a little better, which one I'm more comfortable on, which one shines in certain areas, and which one, you know, has a little bit more of a struggle. I think both bikes have plenty of power to do this trail in, in a reasonable, reasonable amount of time. Um, over the last couple of weeks as we've been riding these bikes, I found myself favor favoring the, the front end on the KTM just a little bit more. Uh, but out here on this gnarly, rocky, really, really loose trail, we're about to see which bike you know can do better on that. So obviously, little disclaimer, I'm not a professional rider. I'm not the best rider out there. A lot of you guys maybe could do this trail a little bit better than me. One caveat that I would mention though is that the GoPro footage flattens this thing out a lot. You can't see how loose it is. You can't see how big the rocks are. You can't get really a sense of how steep things are and how much of an angle there is and off camber things really are with the GoPro footage. So I'm going to try my best. I'm, I'm going to push these bikes. I'm going to push myself here and see what kind of times we can make. So it should be a fun ride. And what I plan on doing is showing a little bit of side-by-side -side footage so that it gives you an idea of which bike, might, which bike I might be able to pace a little bit ahead of the other bike. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. So let's go, let's go right to it. Okay, here I am on the YZ250FX. We're gonna run the Razorback Trail here against the clock. And then we're gonna turn around, come all the way back down and do it again on the, on the KTM. Okay, here we go on the KTM 250XCF up the Razorback. We'll do a little bit of voiceover here. I want you guys to pay attention to how crazy even these bikes are when I get to certain obstacles. There will be times when I will come up and I'll pass different trees and different things two, three, four minutes into this when both bikes are the exact same, at the exact same position. And that will happen up until I make a mistake on the KTM. Um, and then the KTM will fall behind. But what I'll do is I'll pause the video, see like right here, boom. Th those trees, I nailed those trees at the exact same moment on either platform. So both bikes are really, really good. Look at this tree, boom, I'm going around at the exact, I dip into that corner at the exact same time. And I guess that one thing to note here is, um, is I'm nothing if not consistent. Second gear here. on the Yamaha is a little bit probably better suited for this. It's a little bit more of like what uh, KTM would have an XCW gearing, whereas the gearing on the, the uh, 250 XCF here is a little bit higher geared and I felt it right away. And to be honest, my sensation early on was that I was faster on the KTM when the video doesn't show that. The video shows that I was evenly matched, very closely like, see that tree? I was a little bit ahead of it on the Yamaha there. And as we come around this bend, we'll look for some of these other landmarks, uh, like, well, here's one right there where I'm at the exact same point. So I'm running at the exact same pace, even though I kind of felt like I was faster on the KTM. It was weird. Especially when you're riding against the clock, trying to race up it.
looky what we have here. We've come all the way up this trail through all those obstacles and all that crap, and we end up at the exact same place at the exact same time on both bikes. The car coming up right here. Make sure you Right up here in one of the more tricky parts of the trail, I'm, I'm actually going to make a mistake on the KTM and lose all my momentum and stop right there. So basically what I did is I stopped the video on the Yamaha right here at this rock and I'll resume the video on the Yamaha once I get to that point on the KTM. So it wasn't the KTM's fault, it was rider error on my part and uh, it's, uh, it's not as easy as this looks guys. But I wanted to at least then match the videos back up, uh, match the tape back up until I make yet another mistake up here on the KTM. So obviously that was a pretty short little uh, little mistake there, but I did pause the Yamaha just so I can show exactly, you know, if there are certain areas where I'm faster on one bike than the other. And towards the end of this track, you know, I'm very, very close, but I do think that I end up being a little bit faster on the KTM overall, maybe one second in the end. Uh, but that is assuming you take out the screw up time uh, that, that definitely existed there. So I used a timer to figure out how much time I wasted by stopping twice on the KTM and it turned out to be 19 seconds. And if I take the 533 that I did on the KTM minus the 19 seconds, it equals 5 minutes 14 seconds. In all fairness, I have to give this one to the Yamaha because I was able to ride that bike up clean without stalling it. But at the same time, you take those, you take the fact that both bikes were able to do it in the exact same amount of time. I was pacing to do the exact same time on both bikes if I was just a little bit better rider and hadn't made those mistakes on the KTM. I mean, that's just incredible. Want to know something else that's unbelievable to me? I took the YZ450 F up this trail last fall and I went I came up to the top with the exact same result look at that I did a 607 but I had two trouble spots and if you take out the time that I messed up on stalling the bike it would have been 515 which means that the YZ 250 FX I rode clean up the Razorback trail at 5 minutes and 15 seconds and if I was able to ride the YZ 450 F up the trail clean 5 minutes 15 seconds you tell me a 250 doesn't have enough power that first one was just a washout just